Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Obscure. I should point out, by the way, that I actually quit the game and reloaded to see where I would spawn at the beginning of the room or whatever, but no, I, I ended up precisely where I saved and with this camera angle and everything. I mean, we're doing fixed camera angles, but still, I thought that was pretty cool. We get our exact location. Anyway, let's move on. Can I go over there? Shh. Don't make so much noise. It isn't me. Yeah, I was gonna say that wasn't any of us, I don't think. Issued by Cabinet Max Schmino or Max Schmind? I guess it's a D. Official works a Acceptance document. Project number 503, Building Receiving the Public, Private High School. Building Receiving the Public? Financiers. Mr. Leonard and Herbert Friedman. Prime Contractors, Max Schmind Associates. Architect, Richard Max Schmind. Date of acceptance of the works, October 1899. Date started, 1902. Description of the service. Function, high school. Set a number of buildings consisting of... A main building with classrooms and administrative rooms, a library, gymnasium, dormitory, double dining hall, theater, sick bay, different practical work rooms. Wow, okay. We got that. This stuff I'm gonna have to deal with later, but that's a lot of filing cabinets. A lot. And that's locked. So, uh, bye. Let's just get out of here, the way we came in. I, I really do still have to get used to how quick and fluid my movement is. Well, I don't know about fluid, but something about it. I unlocked the door. Oh, right. Oh, we get a loading screen for this. What was that? Are you kidding me? Are you gonna get out of my damn way? Oh, it doesn't really help. Pots of paint, plaster, and maintenance products. Nothing interesting. I'm doing everything I can to stay away from the actual interesting thing because it's scary. Do I still... Nah, I wanted to see if I still had uh, a flashlight, but I don't think I'm liking this very much. Let's go. I unlock the door. This is fine. I can walk if I only tilt the stick. It's actually surprisingly bright up here. No! No 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 Oh oh my god, it's scary, but they don't like light, huh? Mr. Walden, what are you doing here? You've gotta get out of here. Quick with those things. There. What are they? I don't know. I'll make it my business to inform the authorities. Looks like you hurt yourself. It's nothing. Just get out of here. But I'm looking for Kenny. He's disappeared. Kenny, go see Mr. Friedman. But how? All the exits are locked. I'll open the door to the courtyard for you. I have something I need to do. Remember, the light. Looks like we got ourselves into a real sticky situation. Are you, are you kidding me with that line? <laughs> Boy, we sure are in a pickle. Uh... Okay, so we've marked that at the very least. So, classrooms... But wait, it says administration... Oh, it says administration building, because that's the building we're in. Okay, I was, I was getting thrown off. So, 
wherein the how do I zoom back out L1? Nope. Uh, qu well, quit doesn't help me. How do I get back out of the administration building? There we go. So I need to move over all the way to another area, the classrooms, and find out how to, to work on that. But, okay, this is a big thing, though. Light, apparently, is deadly for these creatures. So we're still doing the Alan Wake thing where I want to power up with my beam, my flashlight beam. All right, let's get out of here. So... Can I investigate this? I could take the metal bar. Okay. Is that like... I stole the baseball bat. Is that a weapon? It is a weapon. Oh my goodness. This could be useful. I, I don't have a gun, so this ain't working. And by the way, this would have been like the beginning of the game, where if I tried fighting, I would have gotten my ass kicked, and then that cutscene would have kicked in anyway. So let's get the hell out of here. Welcome to our first enemy, but the game's still going easy on me. Goodbye. There we go, welcome back to the first floor. And he's still on the courtyard doors for us. Was that this? I think that's right. It looks like I'm going outside. Okay. Miss Ashley, what was your reaction when you saw those creatures? Get lost. Do you really think you'll get out of here alive? Don't bug me, okay? I'm calling the cops. And you, Shannon? Care to comment? Cut it out. I'm too scared to get around. <laughs> Oh no, the battery's dead. Big surprise. You've been filming for hours. It's not possible. So any luck? Stupid phone. I get no reception here. You get no reception you outside? We don't have any choice. We've got to warn Friedman. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we have a save point. I'm um, not really a save point, a save item. A disc lets you save when you wish. Hooray. Also, by the way, check this out. Well, I don't know if this really helps. I don't know if I can do anything with this. Because you can see we're elsewhere, but if I press circle... Does that even help me? Well, the point is, this ought to be our new gathering point. Which is nice. So I don't get teleported back to the very beginning of the game. What was that stuff in the attic? Let's go find Friedman. He must be in his office. I guess I'll press select. Well, yeah, I'm assuming we gotta double back and go west to get toward where Friedman is in the classrooms. Is this anything? Nope. Walden, I could never stand him. All right, I guess I'll have to go around. This music. Let's find this moron before it gets dark. I'm starting to get cold. Like, am I playing a vampire game or what? This this choir music. The door is locked. Okay. Oh, are you serious? My God. What's going on in this school? No kidding. Uh, can I actually fight these things? I don't think I'm doing very well. I don't know. I really like that when they die, the darkness fades away. That's super cool. Alright, well, obviously I'm in need of health. Huh. Great. <laughs> Energy drinks. Takes the uh, the teeth marks right out of you. 
So, actually something occurs to me. Could she have helped me if I'd given her a weapon? Can I do that? Let me, oh wait a minute. Cool. Aluminum baseball bat. Yeah, you know what, you know what, let's do this. I'll go with the aluminum bat. Got it. I will give you the metal bar. Yeah, I should have done this the first time. Now we're both equipped. This is real good stuff. Although, wait a minute. Looks like I went back. There we go. There we go. Out of order. Well, I got my energy drink back, so that's nice. Flashing item. Oh, a map. So does this mean, yeah. Oh God, that's a lot of classrooms. I'm a little uncomfortable with that. Nope. Nope. Another energy drink, okay, okay. All right, let's clear this hallway out. This, oh God, this hallway is uncomfortably long. Now let me just see where the doors start. It looks like one might start right next to me. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Stan. What are you doing here? Nothing, dog. I'm just editing my notes. If you want, I can do the same for you for only 50 bucks. Hey, stop clowning around. And you? Why are you hanging around? Is something wrong? What? Haven't you seen in the hallways? All the monsters creeping around? It's a real hellhole. Whoa, dog. I don't know what you've been smoking, but you need to stop. But don't tell me you didn't see anything. You didn't notice anything bizarre? Yeah, everything I see up in this piece is whack. So what do you think those noises are? I'm not kidding. We can't find Kenny. What? You better quit jerking me. Even Mr. Walden was injured. He had to go to the infirmary. We're stuck here. We've got to tell Friedman if we want to get out of this school. Whoa, your story's starting to get interesting. All right, I'll go with you, but you better not be punking me. You better not be punking me. Bet you'll never guess when this game came out. Now, what if I do bring Stan with me, and does he follow me? Do I talk to him, or, or what? Okay, I'm with you. So that's how it works? Well, I should give him a weapon too, shouldn't I? What's his special ability? And what's his bio? Stanley Jones excels more for his frequent unjustified absences than for his results, despite genuine capability. Risks repeating a third time. Pity. And he's a quick lockpicker. We have discovered that Stan is particularly skillful in detecting fragile locks and picking them very quickly. I did mention earlier in the game that picking locks is pretty long, but I still think I might go with Hint Ashley, who also has... Okay, let's move. Or Shannon, excuse me, who has... Uh, I'm thinking Ashley, because Resident Evil 4, because she has a, a weapon. Although... I could still equip Stan. I, I guess it, I gotta see who comes with me. But anyway, get out of my way. I really like that I could push my non-partner character around. But partner character, I'm kind of out of luck. There's the computer. There's another computer. Yeah, you, out of here. I took a paper cup. I took three paper cups. That should be enough. That should be enough. What? Uh, okay, out of my way. This is where it'd be nice if I could manipulate the camera angle, but oh well. Is that the way I came in? Is that the door? This lock looks easy. Okay. This is where Stan would be nice, but... Okay, reel of wire. Stan would do that faster than me. 
Oh, the game's hinting at it. Yeah, this is a brutal time to unlock a lock. Like, that's that's rough. Strange's appearance. The Leafmore High School is, once again, at the heart of the controversy. In effect, Greg Anderson, a second-year student, disappeared on Monday night. It was after classes that his friends in the dormitory notified his absence. He had gone to the sick bay after feeling unwell, and it was there that he was seen for the last time. Another student disappears. The list of disappearances from Leafmore has got even has gotten even longer with a new victim, Tom Mayhust. The police have no real clues at this date, and a lot of parents have decided to change their children from the school. In five years, no less than twelve students no fewer, and no trace has been found. The Leafmore affair, the police react. New measures have been taken by the police in the Leafmore disappearances affair, after the disappearance of a sixteenth student, Richard Craig, last Thursday. Controversy at Leafmore. But what are the police doing? When will they order the closing of this school? Said Mr. Flint when coming out of police headquarters after the disappearance of his son, Harry. The answer was not long coming. The principal of the establishment, Mr. Friedman, came this morning to meet journalists. It seems that the furious lunatic wreaking havoc on our premises is only interested in the students staying in the dormitory. We have therefore by agreement with the force of law and order closed access until order returns. Closure of the Leafmore dormitory. Three years after the last disappearances at Leafmore, none of which have been solved, Herbert Friedman, principal of the high school, officially announced that everything was back to normal. Although the perpetrator of these crimes is still loose, it seems that the closing of the dormitory calmed the ardor of the mental patient responsible for these disappearances. Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah, nothing there. Guess I'm leaving. Let, let me, you know what, let me check my, my friends one more time. Yeah, she gives advice. Maybe I will take Stan, actually. Okay, I'll go with you. Which also means... Can I actually... Okay, let's move. Does she just permanently have the metal bar? Friedman is in the building. Yeah, see, she gives the hint. I took three paper cups. But... That should be enough. Stands with me. You, sir, can have the bat. And I have the aluminum bat. Alright, good. Let's get out of here. Alright, moving on. I can't check the lockers. God, this game is so dark. Our school won the academic basketball tournament three years in a row. Uh, locked. Okay. Got a smoking or steaming pipe, I guess. What's all this? A gun. This is getting serious now. Yeah, what the hell is this doing here? R2 R1 Oh, there are actual targets in here and I'm auto locked on. That's great. That's freaking sweet. Okay. Got it. Got some ammo too. Is that screaming? Right. Okay, thank you. Now I can see. Oh, wait a minute. There's another glowy. A flashlight in good working order. It might be useful. You're damn right. Which means, by the way, let me remind myself of how to do this. Sticky tape, right? Tape the lamp? What the... The lamp? Who has a lamp? What the hell are you... Oh, un oh um, unless the flashlight is the lamp. Tape the lamp to the... Old pistol. There it is. There it is. And now with my aiming, I also can light the way. Hooray for me. 
By the way, here's a fun fact. Apparently on a hard mode, the pistol's just not here, even though this is the tutorial room for the pistol, which is amazing. So let's get out of here. At least I'll be able to see a little better, right? Is that? This lock looks easy. Okay. How do I switch again? Just immediately. Okay. Press select. Oh yeah. Did you know that this is the guy who can pick the lock quickly? All right. Fine. Oh, jeez. Two shots, that ain't bad. Although I'm rumbling pretty badly, so let's do energy drink, I guess. Huh. But I like this, I don't have to go to the real wire menu, I just press square and he starts picking the lock. That took no time! You know, I think I might like Stan. Anyway, let's go into the boys' room. This is the darkest game. Yeah, no kidding. A first aid kit, very useful, very useful. On hard mode, that would not have been here, which means there's no point in entering this room, especially because I triggered an enemy by attempting to enter the room. Food for thought. I guess I can enter the girls' room, no problem. Whoa, this is not the girls' room. Okay, I guess I should have guessed because it was double tours. Nothing really to see here. Sticky tape. I keep hearing these sound effects. It's like freaking eternal darkness over here. There's a completely... This is very Silent Hill. There's a... Well, the message is gone, but... There's a chain and a lock. Can I read that again? A rusty chain blocking this door. How can I speed up the process? This is very Silent Hill, where it just shows you, like, a picture <laughs> of what's supposed to happen. Alright, well... Second floor is a no-go. Guess I'll leave. Also, I actually wonder if I would... Be better off using the aluminum bat for a little while, while I still have weak enemies to deal with. Only two bullets kills these things, which is pretty nice, but still... Oh, of course, but if I don't have the gun equipped, then that means that I don't have the flashlight equipped, which is a little obnoxious. But... Actually... Yeah, there's that boost. Alright. Locked. But he doesn't say this lock looks easy. There are no locks to pick here. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Gee, god damn. I'll boost when I get the chance. What the hell? Now he's done with the music still going. What a freaking nightmare. Alright. Good news, I don't have to worry about the locked door anymore. That thing was huge and it took a lot of bullets to kill. That's all the more reason to conserve my freaking ammo. This music. A disc, very nice, very nice. More sticky tape, I guess I'll take it. This music's still going, though. That's like the, the scary dog hallway music, you know? Like, the fact that it's not going away makes me wonder if there are still enemies. Energy drink, also very good. Bye. 
Why is this music still going? I will point out, though, that when I boosted, it didn't weaken the enemy's defense or anything, but he did start to run away, which is nice. I'll have to remember that. that that'll be great for crowd control. Uh-oh. How cool is that mechanic? I'm still feeling some rumble, like how weak am, am I in terms of health? But that was only a little nibble, I'm better now. This game is freaking nuts. What a cool mechanic. I'm super into this, this is clever, and that, that light just destroyed those things. I'm okay with this. Another disc. The Mortophilia comes in the form of ciphers. Classification appears difficult. This endemic plant allows microscopic buds to appear, which do not appear destined to form a new plant, but to possibly generate other leaves for closer examination. Or, for closer examination. Uh, the parasites in the spider-like appearance explain its capacity to propagate in an excessive manner. Hypothesis verified by the presence of an oversized sucker ensuring proliferation. Detailed examination of the buds. The bud shows a stupefying germinative power. Hundreds of lines at the neck confirm that the species has phenomenal longevity. Cutting the xylems. The ducts are completely dry. No trace of humidity. How are these chlorophyll cells irrigated? The black substance release comes from glands located on the root. It is poisonous to its biological environment. So are we talking about, like, are these enemies, like, plants, weirdly? During a darkness, light, darkness, sequence, variations in dioxygen concentration are observed, whether DCPIP is present or not. The plant is particularly sensitive to exposure. It fears the light. This plant transgresses the rules of phytology. Molecular analyses show genetic associations that enable the mortophilia to be defined as a non-recombinant isolate at the genetic level. This is a tough note to read. This means it does not have a sexual process for exchanging genetic material, but a parasexual one. I attempted an experiment during which a transient diploid node was formed. In this node, mitotic crossover was produced at low frequency. The diploid node then self-haploided through the loss of chromosomes. Using the system, two distinct species could exchange genetic material. Conclusion. It is certain that the Mortophilia possesses abnormal properties. Notwithstanding its incredible longevity, the plant is particularly receptive to crossbreeding. Research must be continued and the genotype of these cells must be examined in detail. That was kind of exhausting. Alright. Use acid carefully. H2SO4. Sulfuric acid. Better be careful not to burn myself. I have to press X to get out of that. Here's what I need to do, which is a little silly. Paper cup. We can't carry it. Yeah, but cup Quick, full of acid. The cup is disappearing. Yeah, it's it's a paper cup. It actually shows me the countdown for how long I'm allowed to do this. It's not very long. I almost lost track of where the double door was. I have the baseball bat equipped, which means that I cannot use my flashlight right now. Oh, come on. Oh, that's cool. That was very quick, but... It works! Oh, it eliminated all of my paper cups? Why did it even allow me to get more? Would I have poured it into the next cup if my first one ran out or something? I don't know. But in any case, let's take a look inside. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, this is ridiculous. Yeah, dog. We ain't being punked, yo. There's somebody in the back there. Oh. 
I keep hearing these like shouting there I can see a little better now which way am I facing uh, east it looks like eh, real quick All right, I wasn't 100% sure, but it looks like it's already broken into. Oh, that's how I reload. Okay. Nice and quick. I love it. God, this hallway just keeps going. It's absurd. This lock looks easy. This guy's wicked fast. Ooh, another flashlight. I mean, I can't do anything about that. Like, I, I can't give him the flashlight and not a weapon, so oh well. But alright. Jeez, these noises. Okay, we're all the way on the end. And there are... Yeah, so it looks like I really did check everything I could on the first floor. There are two doors that are locked, but too bad. Here there are five places to check instead of six. I mean, I guess six instead of seven, but one of them's the stairwell, so it's fine. Everything's fine. Can I? I doubt I can go to the exit. Uh, I can, actually. Maybe I better go back in, though. It feels great to be outside, but let's go back in real quick. I'll check this, uh, the second floor. I'll sweep it, and that's where I'll end things. Because remember, I can end whenever I want. I'll deal with that person later. So... What's in here? All right, see a glowy. Apparently I should just do this with every single room from now on. Okay, I guess there's nothing. It's Professor Walden Satchel, what was he doing with all that stuff? The needle of a compass. Strange. Oh. Oh, come on. I can never stop the initial attack. But. Get wrecked. I could get used to this. Yeah, there are definitely some plant shenanigans going on. I don't like this. God, this game really is very good at keeping me on edge. This lock looks easy. What the hell? Oh. Go to hell. Yeah, how about that combo? Yeah, he's feeling it. This is a problem. <sighs> Alright. 
that, I think we're good. So, we opened it. Now what's in this room? So freaking cool. Like, when does a PS2 game let you do this? Like, I, I find this novel in The Last of Us games on PS3 and 4. PS2 games never touch this. Oh, I did not want to go into the vent just yet. How do I... yeah. I lift them up, put them down. Lift them up, put them down. No, I actually might want to go through with this. Yeah, ammo for a pistol. That was it. I thought we were going to crawl through the vent, but I guess not. And another energy drink. Yes, please. I really do like that you can push all the stuff around, too. Alright, back out. Just plain locks, too bad. Stairs out. Oh well. Oh, uh, the guy by the vending machine was gone. Uh, for the record, that was an enemy type, like the humanoid enemy type that we fought two of by now. Friedman, there's a glass door. God, I, I will never tire of that. Breaking a window and then reaching over to unlock. If Shannon the... were here, she would tell me what to do. Yeah, the uh, the the handle from there. I do appreciate that the game gives me a hint that I would get a better hint if I had the hint character with me. But in any case, a disc. I'm probably going to make use of that real soon, actually. Conspicuous computer. Do I have to go around? Today at 5.38 p.m. Hello, Mrs. Smith. This is Mr. Wixon. Could you ask Mr. Friedman to come see me as soon as possible? It's an emergency. I can't leave the infirmary. Make sure he comes quick. Thanks. Today at 6 50 p.m. Herbert, if if you're there, pick up the phone, please. Come quickly. I, I I don't know what's going on, but I think it has something to do with the experiment. I saw several students who, well, they, it's really bad. Come quick. Oh no! It just cuts off like that. That does not sound good. Mr. Friedman. Are you there? That actually startled me for a second. That camera change made me think that one of us was somebody just skulking around. Yeah, there's a lot of glowies. It's our principal when he was young, in double. I didn't know he had a twin brother. Another compass needle? What? A post-it note. I'm in the library if you want to see me. We came here to see him, and he's not in the classrooms, but I guess he's in the library. Well... Oh, hello. Conspicuous camera angle. There are two empty spaces on the map. Oh, I thought the compass needle would be used for actual navigation, but I started wondering when I picked up a second one. Oh, I could examine? Or just that's it. Alright, let's use it. And let's use the other one separately. Uh, yep. Okay, I keep hearing these sound effects. It's distracting. Okay, the left and right sticks each move the compass needle. I was wondering if there would be anything to tell me to do something. So I could just fudge things with process of elimination because as you can see, I have, well, that obviously does nothing for me. I would need to point somewhere on the map. So I could do this, right? I could just brute force my, uh, my puzzle.
There we go. That took way more manipulation than I thought. A lot of brute forcing, but... Friedman's in the library. Let's go. There's my key. So now I got a different place to go to. My dear Herbert, I am writing to you in secret. Leonard would leave me if he knew I was meddling in his work. Yours, twin brother, and sometimes it seems to me that you understand him better than I. That is why I would like... You to speak to him. We quarreled last night. He is completely obsessed with his research, and I fear he will go too far. He wants to attempt the experiment on himself, I am certain. You know him, he is capable of it. That would be foolish. The subjects treated are only stable up to three weeks. There may be secondary effects that appear much later. Please, try to reason with them. Yours, Elizabeth. A video cassette, Subject 37, Part 1. What? More ammo? A gun with a light, it just, I don't even need a flashlight. I mean, I guess it just has a flashlight, whatever. That's freaking cool. So there's just another gun. Old pistol, gun with light, with way more ammo. That's freaking sweet. Maybe I should give up the old pistol to Stan. Well, now we each have the potential to have guns and lights, which is fantastic. I'm just going to clear out this hallway, and then I'll wrap things up, I think. Oh, okay. Why does that keep happening? Something seemingly spawns, like, directly on top of me. I just get my ass kicked. Freaking nuisance, I tell ya. I apparently... Oh, because I didn't actually use it yet. I keep forgetting I have to press X to menu and then press X to actually use. I'm getting my ass kicked. Maybe I should have just used the damn guns. Uh, I guess we don't need to worry about unlocking this one the hard way. I think I missed with my attack, but that's all right. Yeah, we're golden. Okay. Oh. This doesn't count? Yeah. A work of art, about as interesting as the wallpaper in this room. Ha, ah, got him. A commemorative plaque for a scientific expedition. You can see the coordinates on it. Yeah, so this is the real way to open that safe thing. Longitude 330, latitude 20. Got it. Okay. I think we're done with this uh, little expedition at this point. Let's use our disc. Okay. Beautiful. It's recorded. See that? It's recorded. And for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We got into fights that we actually had to try to fight our way out of. Our lives are in danger now, so I guess we've gone full survival horror at this point. But there are some pieces of good news. We got a bunch of new equipment. We got a new friend who could open locks very quickly. And we've also discovered that not only are the enemies weak to light, they are incredibly weak to light. We are going to need to use this to our advantage. Until next time, everyone.